Japan is one of our favorite countries to visit. One of the reasons we love Japan is the extensive network of trains. We're going to share reasons why you should ride the train when visiting Japan. For this video, we've partnered with Kluke, an online ticket booking platform that offers train tickets as well as activities throughout Japan. More on that in a bit. Let's dive into the many reasons we love trains in Japan. Efficient. Trains in Japan are renowned for their precision and punctuality. It's common for trains to arrive on time or within one minute of their scheduled arrival time. This includes the legendary Shinkansen bullet trains. We know, we've tested it. Heart of the city. You can always count on a major train station in the heart of every single city in Japan. This means you can easily get from one city to the next. And once you arrive, there will be nearby attractions. Remote areas. If it wasn't for trains, we wouldn't be able to visit many places in Japan. Our son gets motion sickness when riding in cars and buses, so we're always looking for trains. And in Japan, luckily, trains can get you almost anywhere. Recently, we visited Niseko Hokkaido, and while you can get there with a bus, a train is a much more comfortable ride. We were able to take the train from Otaru to Niseko and enjoy the beautiful scenery along the way. Clean and safe. Trains in Japan are very clean and safe. We never worry about the train smelling or being dirty. But if you're out late at night in Shinjuku, it might be a different story. Train stations are very safe, just like the rest of Japan. Sometimes we've been out late at night in the middle of nowhere, but have never felt in danger. Easy to use. I know they can seem very intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, trains are an easy way to get around town in Japan. Especially if you have an IC card. Simply tap in at the automatic ticket gate, and then once you've reached your destination station, tap out. Comfortable and enjoyable to ride. Trains are comfortable to ride, especially in the reserved cars of bullet trains or limited express trains. They have tray tables you can use and outlets to charge your electronics. Most types of trains have ACs to keep you cool in the summer, and the seats are often warmed in the winter. It's enjoyable to look out the window and watch the passing scenery. Or you can get some work done. Some trains are just for fun. There are some trains in Japan where the sole purpose is to enjoy the train ride. These are known as joyful trains. Recently, we were lucky enough to ride the Pokemon with You train. There are also trains meant for enjoying a meal and the beautiful view. Great for traveling with kids. Trains are my preferred method of transportation when traveling with young kids. You can get up and walk around a bit to stretch your legs. On the bullet trains, my kids love using the tray tables to have a snack or to draw a picture. There are also toilets on board the bullet trains and sometimes the local trains, so you don't have to stop for pit stops like you would on a road trip. Handicap accessible. If you are in a wheelchair or will otherwise need assistance, let the attendant at the gate know and they can make arrangements to help you get safely on and off the local trains. There are usually particular marked train cars for wheelchairs. We were pleasantly surprised with the service last year when my mother-in-law visited and they helped her get safely on and off the trains. If you need assistance getting onto a bullet train, it might be best to book your tickets at a JR office and let them know at that time that you will require assistance. Next, we're going to share when we choose train versus airplane versus driving a car. But first, I want to share more about Kluke, the sponsor of this video. On either the Kluke website or the mobile app, it's easy to book Shinkansen bullet train tickets. Simply enter your starting station and your destination station. If you're traveling the golden route from Tokyo to Kyoto and or Osaka, then picking up your tickets is easy. You'll receive a QR code via email and within the Kluke app. Once you have your QR code, you can take it to any JR reserved ticketing machine in either Tokyo, Kyoto, or Osaka to get your tickets. And if you purchase multiple tickets, as long as you have the correct QR code for that ticket, then you can pick up all your tickets at once. You can also pre-order the whole Japan Rail Pass or a regional JR Pass from Kluke. This allows you to make your purchase within 90 days of redeeming it in Japan. One of the best things about using Kluke is that they accept multiple forms of payment and our payment always goes through. Sometimes when we've tried purchasing directly from JR websites, they've rejected our credit cards even when we tried multiple different credit cards. So if you have that issue with purchasing train tickets or attraction tickets for Japan, there's always Kluke. We'll leave our affiliate link in the description box below. We truly appreciate the commissions we earn when you purchase through our link. One route where we always opt for a train is the Golden Route from Tokyo to Kyoto. You can take the bullet train directly from Tokyo to Kyoto in little over two hours. You will arrive at Kyoto Station, which is in the middle of the city, making for easy access. 
Since the train is so fast and convenient, we don't recommend flying unless you need to be near the airport. Airports are usually located on the outskirts of cities and there is no airport in Kyoto. The closest airports are in Osaka. If you fly, you first need to travel to one of Tokyo's airports. If you're flying out of Narita, then that trip alone is at least an hour. Once you arrive at Narita, you're gonna have to check in, go through security, wait for your plane, board your plane, and so on. This could be an additional hour or probably longer. The actual flight time is about an hour and 35 minutes. Let's add up the time for flying. Transportation from Tokyo Station to Narita Airport is about one hour. Check-in, security, and boarding, 45 minutes. Flight time, about an hour and 35 minutes. Deboarding and baggage claim, 30 minutes. Hara Express from Kansai Airport to Kyoto Station, an hour and 38 minutes. The total approximate time is five hours and 28 minutes. Now the cost. The Keisei Skyliner from Tokyo Station to Narita Airport is 2,310 yen. Flight on Jetstar Airways from Narita Airport to Kansai Airport is 8,910 yen. But do take into consideration that this is a low cost carrier and assuming that you can get this low price. Most tickets start around 14,000 yen. The Haruka Express from Kansai Airport to Kyoto Station is 1,300 yen. And the total cost is 12,520 yen. Now let's compare taking the Shinkansen from Tokyo Station to Kyoto Station. For this example, we're starting at Tokyo Station and there is no check-in or security checks. Travel time is only two hours and 15 minutes on the Nozomi Shinkansen. The total cost is 14,170 yen for a reserved seat in ordinary class. While in this example, the cost of flying is a little cheaper, please do keep in mind that the cost of airlines can be significantly higher. So for the time savings, cost, and convenience, we much prefer taking the train. There are some routes in Japan where we sometimes take the train and we sometimes fly. For instance, going between Tokyo and Sapporo. We often fly one direction and take the train the other direction. A flight takes a little under two hours, whereas the trains take eight hours. If we're in a hurry and we just want to get directly there, then we fly. If we want to enjoy the scenery, maybe stop off at cities along the way, then we opt for the train. And honestly, we've opted for the train before just to avoid all the carry-on baggage restrictions imposed by airlines. You can find out more on that in our guide to traveling with luggage in Japan. Trains allow us to get out of the big cities and visit Japan's hidden gems. For example, this past winter, we used the JR East South Hokkaido Rail Pass and started in Sapporo, Hokkaido and ended in Tokyo. Along the way, we stopped at many places. This would not be possible if we had flown directly from Sapporo to Tokyo. We spent a couple of days in Aomori and had some delicious fresh seafood. We also visited the Nebuta Museum and saw the most amazing floats made out of washi paper. And we got up close to the legendary snow monsters in the nearby Hakoda Mountains. Further south, we rode the Pokemon with You train and nearby Tokyo, we visited the historic town of Nikko. During the summer, we used the Hokuriku Arch Pass to visit otherwise hard to visit places, including Kurobe Gorge, Matsumoto, and Narajuku which is part of the Nakasendo Trail, the old path that travelers used to take to go from Kyoto to Tokyo in the Edo period. Driving in Japan certainly is an option and we sometimes opt to rent a car. However, it's normally in places that are not well served by public transportation. If you choose to drive in Japan, keep these things in mind. They drive on the left side of the road. Gas can be expensive. You'll probably need a permit to drive. Please check what's required for your particular country. As US citizens, we bring an international driver's permit issued by AAA, our state driver's license, and also our passport. There are no freeways in Japan. Instead, expect toll roads. When driving between Tokyo and Kyoto, expect to pay at least 10,000 yen in tolls one direction. Parking can be limited and expensive. At one of the snow festival events that we attended, there was no public parking provided. They expected everyone to show up by public transportation. On the plus side, the rest stops or michi no eki are a wonderful cultural experience in Japan. Trains versus buses. Long distance buses can be a less expensive option than taking the train, but they can also be slower. When we have the option, we always opt for train over bus since our son gets motion sickness on buses. If you're traveling on a budget, you might want to look into the highway buses, including overnight sleeper buses. That's just not our style anymore. 
If we've convinced you to ride the train while visiting Japan, you can use our Cloak affiliate link to get familiar with booking Shinkansen tickets or JR passes online. Up next, you may want to watch our video explaining how to travel throughout Japan without a JR Pass, or a video explaining which routes the JR Pass is still worth it in 2024. Please subscribe for more travel tips and inspiration.